Okay, this is my first video in about two weeks, I think. As you know, I was traveling um, the week before this week, and this week I've also been sick, so I really haven't felt uh, like doing a video. Uh, anyways, quick recap of the month. It's been uh, my best month ever. Uh, right now it's standing close to $200,000, which is by far my best month. Uh, not my first six-figure month, but uh, hopefully will be my first $200,000 month. I still have a lot of positions uh, from September. I haven't closed, so uh, it could fall uh, by 30, 20, 30 grand if, if all my positions would go against me. And it could also go up 50 thousand dollars plus I, I just don't know yet I have I think I have like 15 17 positions on <laughs> from September so a lot can happen but it's definitely a guaranteed uh, solid six-figure month even if everything would go against me anyways um, recap of Friday's trading it was a great great day um, you know what, I'm going to go through all my positions one by one. Some of these you recognize me because I've been in them for several months. ESIO, I, I've been selling on a way up. I still have some, I think this thing, 20 plus before year end. Peers, I've been trading in and out of this one. If you remember, or actually don't remember, so I wasn't doing my videos back in April, May. But I bought it on this, uh, on this day here. Really good news. I sold on a way up. Then I got back in here, sold some because it didn't go anywhere. And now I added on Thursday on the breakout here, really nice high volume breakout. So I added back some shares. CUTR, another earnings trader, uh, solid performance, small position left. Fitbit is a recent addition. I bought it here um, and the whole, whole theme for me uh, on this one is uh, a long bottoming action, like almost a year, a little bit of a rounded bottom ish, and this could be like a cup, a cup and handle, or not a cup and handle, but like a handle pattern here. Uh, reclaim of the 200 day moving average. You know, it's been going down for multiple years since its IPO. If you look at the weekly charts, it's been going straight down, and now it's kind of bottoming, and they have catalysts go coming up. Um, the, their new smartwatch, Ionis or Ionic or whatever it's called. Uh, and I was thinking it could run into the release of that. And they had some other good news also. And they, some, they had some FDA news and stuff like that, like glucose monitoring. And yeah, they just have you know good things going on. Um, so who knows? Could have a nice run. Uh, overstock. <coughs> I got in, uh, actually, if you remember, I was talking about it down here. I was saying I was going to buy this $20 break, which I never did, this clean break here. I never did. Instead, I got back in here, got stopped out, and now I got back in here. $25.90 a couple of sessions ago. And uh, I moved this between accounts. So this is not my real average. Uh, my real average is way lower. XTR. Uh, oh yeah. I had a fade breakout. I'm long in a, in my third account uh, from this day here, and I was I was adding, but I got stopped out of it. Failed breakout. Tell also failed breakout, or at least it didn't really break out. I anticipated a little bit. Look, looked like it was going to break out, didn't. Now, these old gas names have been going up the past month or so. And this is a you know, former runner, low float. You know, this thing breaks out and volume could go to 14, 15 very quickly. So still stalking that one. SCGNX. So initially, I bought it pre-market in another account. Got stopped out before the open, and then I rebought it here when it looked like it was stopped going down. I had some really, really good data. I wasn't fan of the big gap up, gapped up like uh, 
120, 130%. And in pre-market, it was actually up like 220 or something percent um, at one point. Uh, anyways, it pulled back, bottomed a little bit, then I started adding here and here be below VWAP and it then just shot straight up almost 30% from my entries. Uh, so this is the first uh, account I traded in. I took a, like a two, three thousand dollar loss at first, then I got back in and re uh, yeah, made back that loss and then some, and then I moved it to this account. Uh, Agen was a recent addition. Biotech has been hot lately, small cap biotech especially. And this is one with uh, Catalyst. They have a Petufa in late October. I have to check the date, but you know this thing could run to fives and maybe even to six bucks or something before that. Who knows? Uh, HMNY, wow. Uh, I would say probably most of my gains have gone, come from this stock. Uh, I would say 70, maybe even 80% of my gains are from this stock. Uh, initially, I bought it uh, into 270 to 310 area and that's been my core and I've been holding most of that or not most of that I st I'm, I'm holding about half of that or or 40% of that still uh, and then I've been trading around it um, let's see here I did add here uh, and I sold on the way up and I also added here on this breakout here sold on the way up I think I traded around it on this day too or, uh, and on in this yeah i don't remember all the trades i've made on it uh, and uh, here i shorted it when it on the opening range lows on the, uh, on thursday had a nice fade like you know 15 percent i covered about the third and then uh, it started inching back up then there was some news on it twitter was full of it um you know it was some misunderstandings and uh, I think it was a uh, uh, some article on CNBC or somewhere I don't know they first got it the, got the news wrong and uh, then they corrected it and some people said the, the news were fake uh, it was basically an analyst upgrade but uh, yeah uh, I covered my short break even and then I I still had some on my core and then I added back <coughs> And yeah, went straight up. And uh, on Twitter, I, was, I said I was going to buy all dips, and I didn't. Uh, and this opening range breakout, I was watching for this. And I still missed it because I was watching too many things. And yeah, I st still have some shares, but this could have been such a monster trade if I had been a little bit faster and more focused. Um, but yeah, me, overall it's been over a hundred thousand on this thing. Uh, well over a hundred thousand, probably like one thirty, one forty. Uh, I still think it could go to twenty. Yeah, if you look back, uh, you know, the past few years, VLTC, DGLY, uh, uh, and a, a bunch of other names also that you know went up like five hundred or thousand or two thousand percent inside of a few weeks you know this this thing is only up like four less than 400 percent this thing could go to 20 in the next week or two if it really gets going so i mean yeah i mean i learned from my mistakes you know in the past few years i've been too early shorting these things i'm thinking oh they're up so much and short them and they go up another few hundred percent and you know i take big losses and I finally always nail them, but I, I end up making back losses. So this time, you know, I'm on the right side from the beginning and it's, it's a good fundamental story. You know, if it plays out, who knows over the, over the years, I'm not in this thing for, for an investment. I'm in it for a momentum trade. And, you know, I've seen this thing so many times before. Don't underestimate this one. With that being said, if I see ranges being broken on the downside, like I saw here, I will short it. I will keep my core, but I will short it uh, because, you know, if the short is there, it will be there. But I'm not going to short it into strength or anything like that. Um, so, it's, uh, yeah, basically, I'm still looking to buy dips and range breaks to the upside. 
XXII, another one, not not good. Um, the you know it's not a low float, unfortunately, but this thing has also a very good story behind it. So who knows? It could go. I initially bought it here or here, I think. I got stopped out. I didn't sell enough, and then I bought it here. I added here, and I added on Thursday also. <clears throat> and I'm willing to add on Monday too if it breaks this area here. And this is another one I think has the potential to double or more before year end, especially if the market keeps up. Uh, you know, because you know small caps and biotechs have been really really hot, and take you could keep going. Uh, F cell, let's see which. Oh yeah, so fuel cell stocks. If you re remember these things at big runs in 2014, and now they're running again. Actually, bought plug on this day here. Got stopped out here. Uh, looking for a another breakout here. Hopefully, it goes sideways for a few days. BLDP needs to go sideways a bit more. F cell is the only one that hasn't made a huge run. Uh, so I'm in from like one mid 160s, mid low 160s, and I'm looking to add to it. So it breaks this 183 area, 184 area. You know, not, yeah, who, who knows? Could go. Um, CRMD. So this one I t 